Greetings, everybody. Last night I got a phone call from one of my secret sources, and he gave me some super juicy booty details about Takashi 69 But before I start to spread cheese, I want you guys to take a look at Michael Jackson's album cover, Blood on the Dance Floor. As you can see, Michael Jackson is dressed up like a blood. He's on the dance floor, and this isn't any ordinary dance floor. As you can see, this is a checkerboard dance floor. Now I want you to wrap your zesty little eyes around the album cover for Takashi 69s Dummy Boy album. Whoa. Just like Michael Jackson's album cover, he's a blood, and he's standing on the dance floor. And it's not just any old ordinary dance floor. It's a checkerboard dance floor, and he's also spilling blood all over the dance floor. This isn't a coincidence by any chance. And if you look a little closer, you can see Takashi 69's butt cheeks for all the little boys to see. Michael Jackson's career was plagued by molestation scandals. And if you look at Takashi 69's case, he's not guilty of anything. He didn't commit any crimes, he didn't shoot anybody or do anything gangster. It says here in my highly classified documentations, the only reason why he's facing time in prison is due to child molestation scandals. I know you guys read the title by now, but I can't flat out say that Takashi 69 is Michael Jackson's son without providing you with vital information and details. It's all very mathematical. Takashi is a dummy boy, and his father was a dummy for boys. And you have to remember, the only way to get into the entertainment business is if you make a blood sacrifice or if you're related to somebody in the music industry. With that being said, I want you to take a look at Michael Jackson and his other sons. Do you guys remember the R&B group T3? Yeah, I remember them. Well, I want you to take a closer look at this picture. I'm going to zoom in for you. Is that? Do you recognize this young man right here? Is that Takashi? Yeah, you see it. That's Takashi 69 before the fame, before the stardom. That's back when he had the mystical braids. Yeah, and people often wonder why they call themselves T3. It says here on page 54. T3 stood for Takashi 3, but ever since he went solo, he changed it to Takashi 6 and I now want you guys to take a look at this picture right here. As you can see, Takashi clearly has herpes. The octopus mouth is pretty common with rappers and entertainers, but now I want you to take a look at this picture of Takashi 6 and I when he was only 5 years old. Actually, I'm going to put these pictures side by side so you can see the actual herpes map. All you have to do sometimes is map out the herpy patterns on celebrities and you can tell who's who. And according to this information, Takashi 69 is actually Michael Jackson's son, Blanket. And speaking of Blanket, you might want to grab a handkerchief or an umbrella, because right about now I'm about to pour a whole pint of Hennessy just on the areola part of your nipple. Because people often accuse me of spilling tea and doing girly gossip, but I don't spill tea, I spill Hennessy. It's sort of a manly way of gossiping, but it's really effective when you have highly classified documentations like I do. I don't bull jive, I don't even eat turkey. That's why you guys should thank me for giving you this information. Now I want you guys to take a look at this picture of Takashi and his little brother Sway Lee. People often say Sway Lee's face is a little swollen and a little retarded, but according to my documentation, it says the reason why he looks like that is because he was conceived while Michael Jackson was wearing his Thriller costume. It's been scientifically proven that things like that make a difference, and this explains why Takashi and Sway Lee have childlike behavior because they take after their father Michael Jackson. This explains his affiliation with the Gateway Bloods. And when the Fed saw the album cover for Dummy Boy, they knew he was following in his father's footsteps. But Takashi took it a step further. Not only did he expose his bare buttocks, he was also ejaculating Gogurt on the Masonic floor. Have you ever noticed that you always see images of Takashi holding a blanket? That was his trademark ever since he was born. He was destined to be a part of the Blood Gang, the same way Michael Jackson was a part of the Crip Gang. I want you guys to take a look at this picture of Michael Jackson's little brother, Shoddy Jackson. It says he was a part of the Jackson 5 from 95 to 96, but they kicked him out of the Jackson 5 when he decided he wanted to rep that 5. He recently found his way back into the music industry by managing his nephew, Takashi Blanket Jackson. Back in the day when you wanted to join a gang, you had to either get down or lay down. Y'all remember that? Well, it ain't the same no more. Nowadays, you're going to have to get down and bend over. 
they gonna have to start spelling the word gang. G-A-Y-N-G. <laughs> Niggas be out here talking about gang, gang. <laughs> you know when you gotta say something twice, it's extra gay. <laughs> you know you just can't get away with saying something gay once. Bloop, bloop. <laughs> hey, boo, boo. <laughs> That's why when these just started saying gang, gang, I knew it was some gay shit. What's that boy that just went to jail? Takashi 6 ix 9 Yeah, he was on the radio giving this his address talking about he wants somebody to test his gangster. You know, I'm a street nigga, so I went over his house to see if he was really about that life. This nigga came to the door dressed like a Jamaican dominatrix. Nick was looking like Buju Bontine and Lady Gaga had a baby. He one of them old juicy fruit niggas. I knew he wasn't a gangster when he got that 69 tattooed on his face. How you gonna have a face-to-face -face conversation with this nigga and not once think about sex? Now, when you see somebody with a tongue ring, you automatically know that they give it. But when you see a nigga with star bursts in his teeth? This nigga willing to eat his shit booty. Walking around with Starburst rammed up in his gums. This nigga can't help but to taste the rainbow. Now going to jail ain't funny, but y'all know this boy gonna get assaulted. They not only gonna assault him, they gonna put some pep on him, a little bit of cayenne. Fuck getting assaulted, this nigga gonna get seasoned and souffléed up in jail. They all gonna have a cookout and his booty hole gonna be the barbecue pit. <laughs> and what's the other nigga named Shotty? You can look at him and tell that his memory is shot. <laughs> Shotty don't know what the hell is going on. They said he went in the courtroom and told the judge, this is Trey Way, we don't fold. <laughs> but what they didn't tell y'all, this ignorant fool thought he was in the recording studio. He was looking around the courtroom, saw Takashi, saw his homeboys, saw a couple of people from the record label. This nigga shot he forgot that he was in court fighting federal charges. That's what he get for trying to be like Suge Knight. Now he in court blurting out shit he ain't supposed to be saying. This Trey way we don't fold. Oh nigga, you gonna fold when they hog tie your black ass. Them police fold you up like a pretzel. It ain't gonna be Treyway no more. It's gonna be Subway, nigga. And how you gonna be a blood from Brooklyn anyway? Ain't that disrespectful to Biggie? Y'all remember that song? We'll always love Big Papa. No, they won't. Brooklyn don't give a damn about Big Papa. How you gonna rep the gang that killed your leader? That's like niggas on the West Coast farting and rapping at the same time trying to be like Biggie. Now you know that nigga had some bad gas. Every time he fought, you know it cause he say, oh. Kick in the dough, wave in the faux faux, oh. Subscribe. You know you want to, you might as well subscribe. You know you want to, you might as well subscribe. You know you want to, you might as well subscribe. You know you want to, you might as well subscribe. You know you want to, you might as well subscribe. Subscribe. You know you want to, you might as well subscribe. 
Every Thursday, they run the with pop with me. I be on the block, hustling the document. Only thought I had one, I'm gonna be dropping 50. Sean Blaze, the whole NBA rockin' with me. Kobe called me, said he wanna do a collabo. Me, him, and Shaq gonna be in the labo.